I've already had my coffee. Had to get started early this morning. I gotta harvest some stuff. So let's go see what I can pick or chop or whatever. <laughs> I need to cut back some of this sage and basil and rosemary. I have done this a few times already. And oh, poor Judy. She's going crazy. Mr. Lucas' dogs are out across the street. I think I'm going to take her over there and let her play with them a little bit later on. This sage is growing pretty good. Mm, let's just take it down to there's a few leaves on it. Alright, I think that's good for the sage. Oh, where did I put my little baggie? I don't have a basket um, to put these in, so I just put them in little baggies and then string them up when I get inside. What you doing, girlfriend? Alright, what's next? Let's do some basil. This has been going really well. I'm going to cut quite a bit of this off. Uh, I wonder if this is boring, you guys. I might speed this up and just put it to some music. herbs. It smells wonderful. harvest some of this oregano. I haven't done that in a while. Remember this peppermint that I was trying so hard to get to grow? It's actually growing now. It's chamomile. It's been picked off so much, but I'm going to pick some more today. And see that down in there? That is oregano. And that is finally growing. I can't believe it. I've got a few poultry chives down there, but not doing so hot. I know they need more sun, but Judy keeps getting in there and digging them up, so... So let me get some of this chamomile. Remember this garden bed <laughs> that I poured diatomaceous earth on? Well, I just disturbed it and look, it's done basically nothing. This bed is crawling with ants. They're everywhere. I think I'm going to take a few of them out and feed them to the chickens today. Get their little eggs. Yeah, get their little eggs. Well, would you look at that? The birds left a few elderberries. Hmm. I think that I might come back a little later and see if I can harvest a few of these. They're disappearing pretty darn fast, though. So I don't know. I don't even know if it would be worth it. I don't know if there's enough of them to be able to do something with because the birds are just getting them way, way too fast. I think I can harvest me a couple tomatoes. Yeah, it's pretty close to getting ripe. This one will be ripened very soon, so I'm going to get that one too. And 
What about these? Why not? Let me get those. Oh, that's a big one. I think I'm going to let that one ripen for a little bit longer on the vine, as well as all of these. I'm getting quite a few. Right on. That makes me very, very happy. Let's see what's going on over here. Oh yeah, let me see here. Looks like there's a zucchini down there that I need to harvest. Well, looks like it's okay. It doesn't look infested or anything. So we'll grab that. Let me just set these down here for now. Let's see, there's another one right there, another one right there. See that? Those are squash bug eggs, so I'm going to look all over the plant and take off the parts that have the eggs on it and see if maybe I can just extend the life of the zucchini plant a little bit longer. Well, this watermelon plant just keeps growing and growing and growing. And those cucumbers over there too, there's multiple cucumbers on them, I can't believe it. But there are a ton of little watermelons. There's one right there. There's one right there. And I don't know if you can see it, but there's one like right. Let's see if I can zoom in and see it. See that? There's another one right there. Something just crawled over it. And there's quite a few others, so, oh, let's, let's go look at that uh, spaghetti squash. Can you believe it? I can't believe it's doing so good. This amazes me. Wow. So, I don't know, I'm just going to let the grass grow in between all of these. Hopefully I'll get some more. These are zucchini, um, uh, what do you call them, spaghetti squash. And those butternut squash over there are not doing good. But just from the shape of the leaves, I think that this is a butternut squash too. And that actually looks... <gasps> what do I see? See that thing? You know what that is? That's going to be chicken food. Yep, I'm going to get you. That's right. The only good squash bug is a dead squash bug that's going to be fed to the chickens. Yep, it left me a few little eggs, so I'm going to get those off. I'm just going to tear that part of the leaf off and squish them and squish them in the dirt. Oh my goodness. Would you look at that? I am going to find something. I'm just going to pull this whole leaf off. I'm going to leave those little eggs on and all those bugs on right there. And I am going to feed this to the chickens. You know what I feel like I've become? I've become a rooster. So this little guy's going to go to the chickens too. Well, these little chickens have been having fun playing outside, picking through the, the different kind of bugs that I got for them and kind of sprawled out all over the place. I got them some ants and just kind of spread some of the dirt out so that they wouldn't be too profuse and put some little spiders in that squash bug and a little caterpillar down there for them. They've been pecking away at it. And you know what? I may just, I've been using that other waterer, but it is just so big and it gets so dirty in that little coop inside. I think I'm just going to keep using this little tub with the rocks in it. And uh, when they move outside, that other big waterer is going to be so much better. But, yep, today they're just out playing in the sun and Patsy's butt is doing really good. She's over, I don't know if you can see her. She's, she's to the right there a little bit. Um, they're all growing, they're getting their feathers, and I'm just so happy. What are you doing? You weirdo dog. Go burn some energy. Just quit <gasps> breaking my stuff. <gasps> I am probably going to regret this, but uh, I've given Judy her freedom. Let's see what she does. 
I know what she's going to do. She's going to go over to Mr. Lucas right away. As soon as she finds out those dogs are out there, she is going to go across that street. What did I tell you? She's out of sight. Oh, there she, there she is. She's over by the tree. All right, I got to go retrieve her. <laughs> She's going to look for those other dogs until they come out and play with her. My goodness. Judy playing with Chapel. Why don't you go run? Why do you have to be right here by us? <laughs> Say hi, Mr. Lucas. <laughs> Puppies, go run! They just want to climb around Mr. Lucas. They just love you. Oh, 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 oh. oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they just want to be right by Mr. Lucas. <laughs> go run! Oh, she's found her a boyfriend. She has. She loves her some chapel. She loves Dinah too. And good talk, Chapel. <laughs> Here's what I harvested today. Not a whole lot, but it's something. I got a zucchini, some tomatoes, a red pepper, a green pepper, some giant jalapeno peppers, a Japanese eggplant, some thyme, some basil, sage, rosemary, oregano, peppermint, and chamomile. Yeah, I mean, it could be better, but, you know, it sure does look pretty, doesn't it? And I got all the herbs hanging up and one cayenne red pepper. And that hanger is working out so good. Doesn't that look pretty? I am so glad my mom found that for me in Goodwill. Anyway, that's all I got for you guys today. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.